Network Security Authentication Free Radius. We, of course, it's pretty obvious. It's Microsoft everywhere, right? Well, not really. There is an application called Free Radius, and I'm not a Linux guy. That's why I would struggle to show you that on a Linux system. However, I found Free Radius for Windows. I have never used that before and want to try with you, try with you now. Let's see. Again, if it blows up or something, don't blame me. Okay. I agree. Six megabytes available. Crap. Let me fix it. We should have enough space to do it now, yep. Okay. Let's see how it goes. To test it, I will, I will use a Cisco access point and will enable just basic AAA. Invalid group, not a good sign. Okay. Is it loading or something? Oh, it's here. Okay, can I... Oh, here we go. Okay. Edit users. That's what I want to do. Ooh. Right. It's probably a text file, isn't it? Okay. Do we have a default user? We should have one, I hope. Let's check. Demo, demo, demo. Okay. Uh, let's let's test it. Is there anything else? I would like to check the port numbers. Um. Clients. Okay. Well, le le let's leave it. I could always check that in in Windows. Uh, let's do it actually. Let's check. What was the command? Netstat, I think. Netstat. Yeah. Uh, there was there was a switch to. What was it? Because it will try and figure out what the name was. Was it A? Yep. No. N, 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 N. It means it will not try and figure it out. Hmm. Wow. Okay, let's, let's give it, let's give it a try. And see. See how it goes. So here is my access point. Let's check. Username admin privilege 15 password Cisco. We have a backup local account. That's good. I'm pretty sure AAA is enabled because I use that for radius, right? Yeah, good. Okay, let's create a radius uh, host, which is 172.16.1.191, and the port is. Let's let's just use oops, this guy and see if it works. I think I can specify more than one, uh, but 
for now let's use 1812 and 1813 oops I should have specified the key Cisco okay now how can I add a new host radius clients okay clients conf Ooh. I need to open it with something else because notepad is not good for that uh, where is it located free radius C okay. Okay. Oops. Let's open it then. Computer C free radius uh client client. Okay, now it's better. And I can open it, open it in WordPad. Okay. Uh, right. It's for Windows and you have to do everything in text files. That's crap. Okay, I have no idea how to do that. Uh, oh, it's here? Okay. Client. Okay, and... Uh, okay. Let's change this guy then. Uh, 172, 16.1.12. Was it? That's network. Oh, weird. Okay, 172, 16.1.12. I'm not a Linux guy. Sorry, guys. Um, Cisco short name any client okay fair enough I just I I will change it doesn't matter save okay I would be surprised if that worked yeah I said I saved okay uh fair enough Okay, let's use, uh, let's create Let me save the configuration first and you know what, what I like to do, reload in 5 If I break it, it will reload uh -huh. Authentication A login. Let's use default group race. Okay. Okay. It failed because I'm using admin Cisco. Okay, let's use demo. Demo. Demo, demo. Hmm, it's not working. Uh, let's restart it just in case it's required. 
it is running. It's just, what is the port number? It not might be the issue. Do we have any logs? Remove log files. Okay, can I check the logs? Uh, okay, let me check the users again. Test user and test password. Maybe this one will work. Okay. Test user, test password. Test user test password. Hmm. Okay. Can I check any logs on this thing? Ah, I prefer Windows. So there is an ini file. log radius okay there we go ready to process requests yeah, whatever I can't see that to be honest This access point will reboot and I should get access to it again. Hmm. Don't forget what's that? Hmm. Nothing. Well, I think I will need more time to sort it out guys I think access point is rebooting now ha fixed it I think I added this client in the wrong file I've got that file clients.conf I changed there there was a subnet 172.16 I changed changed it to Cisco and now just you know so I don't have to reboot even though I scheduled that let me cancel that reload cancel so I, I you know because it's it's the default method that's why it will apply to VTI as well telnet and when I try to telnet there is a test account on this guy which is here test user and test password test user and test password ha ha and I, I enabled some debugs here mm -hmm. we'll show you mm, show debug Triple uh, A authentication radius enabled. Uh, and where is it? Test user, please note. Test user. Yes, 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 yes. It's working. Cool. Okay. We don't need uh, Active Directory and the Windows Server to play with radius. It took a while, but uh, I sorted it out. And it's on Windows, it's not on Linux. Thank you very much.